Hey, 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 Big Dave, the Middle-Aged Gamer, here with another episode of Sim Settlements 2 for Fallout 4, and we're starting once again with a conversation with McCready. He said, so, what did I tell you? I'm a damn good shot, or something to that effect. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, thought you might be. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. What were you doing in the Capital Wasteland? I was born there. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. Kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but having adults around was something we couldn't trust. Pretty brave. A bunch of kids living alone like that. I don't know. Looking back on the whole thing, I think we were just lucky. Anyway, when I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. I made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. Which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. Okay, we could flirt with them, but we're not doing that. Thanks for sharing that with me. Well, you've earned it. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass. I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. Nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. Now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. <clears throat> Hope you got something out of all that. Well, I got something out of it, too. We got uh, a new settler in the Mechanist Lair, so we're going to go there immediately. Okay, the Mechanist Lair. All right, we do this the same way we do it every single time. This is the go-to for... Alright, this is our new person. Wearing armor. With a very high perception. Hmm, not much else. Yeah, not like we need anybody else with perception. But his agility is decent and he is training it, so we'll put him on the other defense plot. And it's upgrading immediately. Okay, so we'll turn this off. And that's perfectly fine, because we needed the extra defense anyway, and food and water fix, courtesy of the caravan. So we'll watch this build, and we'll go from there. And that should actually fill up our agility plot. Oh yeah, sure does. So it'll be interesting to see where it goes now. We got a strength plot brewing there, so we can get some more. Resources in, and that's perfectly fine. Okay, hold up. We upgrade the security and it takes a dump? 
Well, that makes no sense. Would you like me to go with you? I just want to trade a few things. Of course. Yeah, glad I did that. Find anything useful. Okay, there we go. That fixes defense. Yeah, defense actually looks pretty good now. Look at that. And hold up, did we get a multi up uh did somebody build a multi? I think somebody built a multi, so Yep, there it is. Okay. Well, we can sell a couple of things here. Because the town already does have a merchant. She's asleep right now, but we can pester her at any time. Just out of curiosity, how, how overweight are we now? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, we got a junkies SMG. Isabel, are you? Oh, uh, we're gonna get one of these. Robots? The price we pay for accessing this merchant, but that's okay. Uh, yes, I can. I mean, I am. I'll, I'll locate one for you. I'd like to trade a few things. Sure. Take a All look. right, there we go. We've already invested. That's fine. Don't need. Actually, I'm not sure if I need that. I need to strip those down before I do anything else. That too. Although that can go. We got 13 left. That'll work. Didn't make that much of a dent, but it's something. Okay, we've got more to sell, we've got more to break down. And I'm sure we've got a fair amount of junk too, yeah? Uh, we've got one piece of junk. Well, anyway, let's go back to the new Cafe Ola real quick. Home sweet home. Alright, that gets us down to quite manageable, actually. Okay, so... Strip down anything that could be useful. That's stripped down. That's in case we want a standard. We want to turn one into a shotgun. And... Didn't I have... There it is. Oh. Oh.
Okay. And that gets us underweight. Ah, look at that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at our combat shotguns. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side and see which one is better. Actually, one thing I do want to do... It's actually got a better DPS than my double barrel, so we're going to put the double barrel back. What's up, pup? There it is. Okay, so first things first. We're going to take the combat shotgun that we just picked up, and we are going to favorite it. That's a nice, nice piece. Okay, we're going to look at the two of them and see if there's anything we can swap. Probably not, because I think what we have is just better in every way, and yeah, it is. So, we just sell the other one. We're done here. Okay, so we still have uh, stuff to sell. Actually, hold up, we're not quite done yet. We need to check on my t-shirt collection. Okay, that's a new one, and that's a new one too. Ha! And that probably still has us over by a bit. Yep, five pounds, whoop de fucking do. All right, so we have stuff we need to sell, so we're going to go to Bunker Hill, because we're just right. Whatever reason the map says, we're right nearby, so fine. Here we are at Bunker Hill. Oh, we've got to see what's inside oh, Don't worry, we will, even if it isn't all that much. It's true. Out there on the road. Could use some supplies, actually. I'll see what All I right, time to invest. I never did do anything with the. Uh... <laughs> Whoops. We'll actually give the sunglasses to McCready. All right, that'll do. See what you have. Everything is sold as is. Let's see if she glitches out. She does not, but we're going to invest our caps. All oh, right, I still got the T60 stuff, don't I? <laughs> so, which means we need to go to a Red Rocket truck stop next. Check on the power armor there. Uh, oh, we can afford one. Ooh. Well, we can only get one. We'll grab the Black Ops 
right shin guard. That will do. So a couple places to go to. Let's head to the Red Rocket Truck Stop. For actually, we're gonna save first. Heading into the, the Northwest Death Triangle, you want to make sure you're saved beforehand, just in case shit hits the fan. This is a post-edit note I'm just throwing into this video here. Little did I know at this point that just what kind of uh, prophecy I was spouting here. I spoke this fucker into existence. <sighs> and of course, it's noisy as hell because of the weather. Hello, Radstag. Goodbye, Radstag. But we po I decided to pop up outside of Clemens' ramen farm because I crashed a couple of times when trying to go to the Red Rocket. So we're just going to go to one place at a time on the Death Triangle and try to make sure everything is safe. And since we are right near Aberdeath Farm, this really shouldn't cause a problem. Okay, why are we having defense problems? It says we're okay on defense. We do have a couple of bored people, looks like. Okay, now that that's gotten fixed, and yeah, now we see we actually are having defense issues all of a sudden at Abernathy Farm. Why are you bored? Custodian, and you gotta shh. Jesus Christ. We need to put you on perception stat. Okay. Well, water's upgrading. Okay, we should have another board settler. And we still have two board settlers. Honey Abernathy and Terrence. Terrence is a purification scientist with a max perception, so I can just stick him anywhere, and he's also maxed out endurance. Holy crap. And Connie. Uh, come on, Connie. Reactor operator is maxed out her intelligence and her perception. She can go anywhere else. Fine. As long as it's not endurance or perception, right, bud? Well, that's endurance right there. Well, you know what? We'll go with intelligence. All right. Let's get Connie Abernathy back. We'll put her somewhere else. Probably Charisma, since we're, like, right there. Actually, we can put her on Endurance. All right, defense still has some issues now that everything has uh, seriously sorted. Okay, everybody's having fun now, and water, you're kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Hundred forty-nine water, we still don't have enough. Hundred sixty-two water, we still don't. Have okay, there we go. Jeez. And now power is fixed, huh? Oh, right, right, right. Well, you know what? We're going to fire this up anyway, see if we can get it upgraded. Oh, 
The whole point of this with the upgrade is to try and be able to get rid of some of these generators so it can thrive on its own. You know, since we're here. So it's a good thing we came over here. So after we're done here, we'll make the trek, the manual trek over to the red rocket. Maybe it won't crash. And after we get this sorted out, we're going to take a look at the sanitation section and see what we can do to upgrade further. Gotta be kidding me. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the upgrade did not make up for the lack of power, or the uh, upgrade uh, did not uh, did not uh, supersede the other upgrades. Okay, this is still at a one. what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to find the person that's here. I think they're a farmer. I know they had something. Was it uh, good? Was it endurance? Honey. Yeah, it's endurance. Okay, let's look at Blake. Okay, intelligence. Terrence, you're the one. No, you're the purification scientist. No. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Our infectiologist is going to become our custodian. And then we're going to take Blake, put her over as an infectiologist. And then we'll take that extra settler and turn them... into a farmer. And see, just doing that has already made a bit of a dent in our sanitation. So now we need to find Blake. He's right here. Send her to the hospital. Is the dang hospital. Here it is. And 
then we're gonna take our settler and put her as a farmer. What? Now we have somebody bored, nothing to do with them. Okay. Now I gotta see what uh, what inadvertently happened. And if we need to make a new gig for them. Okay, food is... Oh. It was just taking a little while for everything to catch up. Okay. There's our settler. And there is our third farmer. And that should fix the food. All right, while we're here, let's talk with Archibald again. Maybe we can actually get that quest. Okay, that's still funny. Okay, we're gonna track a track. And we may have to get used to the fact that it's quite feasible Abernathy Farm's going to need a second power base. Okay, we are now lacking in defense, and... Oh, water has taken a hit. We've maxed out water. But we need to wait for sanitation to fit it to max out. Might as well. Okay. Okay, water and defense have fixed, so that's good news at least. And housing is maxed, so if we need to get more people here, we'd have to build another house. That's fine. We've got plenty of stuff down the middle of here we can build a house with. But, yeah, we need to wait for power and sanitation to upgrade to see just where we're truly at with this place. So we're going to save after everything we've done here. Place is in better shape. For now, we need to go to the Red Rocket Truck Stop. Now, what brought all this on in the first place? I'll show you. In here is a stash of power armor that I've got. We got my X01 Mark III that we got at uh, the Rust Devil's place. T T51 uh, with no legs, a fully a full set of T51, and another full set of T51. Thought I had a T60 here. I was wrong. I have a T60 somewhere. I just don't remember where. So we're gonna go to the Red Rocket Truck Stop, and we're gonna look. Security upgrade at Green Top Nursery. That doesn't really mean much to us right now. Although it's nice to see. OK, 
Okay, and I'm taking it slow because my computer's having a bit of a hard time loading everything up. And that's fine. It happens. There's a reason this area is called the Death Triangle. Looks nice. This is also why when your computer's having a hard time, you never push it. Okay, so we have some space to grow. Oh, man, we... Okay, we got somebody bored. That's probably Doc Shock. And we have water. Okay, water is good. Don't need to upgrade. Everything else seems to be good here. Don't need to upgrade. I know, I just said that. Except sanitation. Sanitation is a fucking eyesore. Don't even have sanitation. What the hell is this? Is this a farm plot? Yeah, it's a farm plot. Okay. And it's upgrading. Okay, so we really need only one thing here, and that is a that's sanitation. And we've got a couple of bored people here. So, first we're going to see who's bored. And it's our guard. Don't care much for this. That place? That's because she's maxed out her agility, so we'll give her something else to do. Oh, don't crash on me. Agility. She doesn't. That's the one thing she doesn't need. Yeah, sure. We'll put her on strength. Okay, so we need to find Doc Shock. Last I checked, he was running power. Although I thought I may have switched that on him. No? Okay. Okay, so we need to do a few things so we can get this. Going. Well, first things first, I want to see who's running this, because don't really need anything fancy here, talent-wise. How the hell are you supposed to get up there if somebody's asleep? You cheat. That's how you get up there. They've got an insane endurance. But their perception is sh uh, Their intelligence is shit. Let's look at Gibbs. I thought we had somebody with a pretty damn high intelligence, aside from Stodge. 
Okay. That's a full set of T60, so... Yeah, not necessary. That's the vault tech rep. He's our general sale person. He's got a great intelligence, but... His charisma is where it's at. Hang on, I have a thought. Who's running the water supply? Intelligence is an eight. Mm, still not quite good enough. But man, her, her stats are just disgusting across the board. Wow. God, her intelligence was one, one point higher. What about Hubert? Java junk. Okay, he's a farmer. Okay, we just need to start looking at some of these houses. Never did look at you, an herbalist. Strength training. And an insane agility. What the hell does an herbalist do? <laughs> oh well. All right, you. And his charisma training. And the two shops we have, yeah, we don't need anymore. So we're going to convert this to perception. Because we need that. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the board, put them somewhere else. You're a spotter? Which means you need a better agility. That didn't take. That should take. Actually, no, we need intelligence training. No, 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 no. Yeah, how the hell are you doing guard work with a one agility? Jeez. Okay, I picked the wrong thing. Cancel construction. Choose building plan. We're going to do intelligence training. That's what I wanted. So we can get somebody better for power. Agility is maxed. Yeah, might as well get your last point in endurance.
just moving things that are out of, in the way. Okay, now one last thing we need to do here. Because this place desperately, and I mean desperately, needs some sanitation. It's neat that you can just go through that. Not completely even, but it will work. That allows us to get up here. And there's really only one thing we need to build up here. And what we're going to do now, get this going, the reason why we don't need the reason why we don't need perception is because of this. That is not the spot I wanted. So we can track down Doc Shock. We're going to put him in sanitation. That 16 perception will do a wonderful job. Is he upstairs in there? Yeah, he is. Okay, so we got a door with no stairs, so we need to fix that. So that at least gets Ed Rock where he needs to be. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, man. 
Doc Shock got where he needs to be anyway. And we got an improvement on the city service in the Mechanist Lair. Oh, that's nice. Old deer on Doc Shock with his beautiful 16 perception is going to be doing this. And whoever is running the intelligent, the new intelligence entertainment party is going to be doing power because soon enough their intelligence will be gold that we can upgrade that damn thing. Of course it's Stodge. Who doesn't fucking need it? Okay, since that was an utter fail and a hilarious one at that. We'll put him on endurance. I don't think he had his endurance max, did he? Oh yeah, he did. Whoops. So we'll put him on strength. And I guess we'll have to put the vault tech rep on power. Thing about ghouls, that natural 11 intelligence is a beautiful thing. And would you look at that? Doc Shock, a level one uh, sanitation, has got it under control. That's beautiful. Well, what this means is that I totally goofed with this. We'll just put it back to what it was before. For whoever wants it. And to be fair, commercial plots are not as important as everything else. Turn off the tracking. Power's still good. Everything, actually, power is better. Everything is better now. Only thing we need is somebody new to fill in the holes. Mal, hole. So this is not connected. Maybe it would actually help if I turned it on. We can get somebody in here, they can take the shop, and we'll be good from there. And if we need any upgrades, this place will be gold. But we still have... Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to upgrade this. I do want to see who's running this, though. Let's see what they're at. If their charisma's good, I actually might uh, just put them up here, and whoever's new can just take that. All right, it's the person up here, right? Alright, they got 
good endurance and not much else, and none of that matters. We're going to upgrade this anyway so we can get more power. So we can get more power transferable. And you know what? We might as well with the water too. Let's just make damn sure that our water person actually does have it. It's Teresa. I think her perception's high enough, but don't quote me on it. Oh yeah, it is. I just think all of this because our intelligence was only slight, ever so slightly better, wrong way, than Doc Shocks. Track. Let's upgrade the water. And we need to see who's bored. Okay, but stock shock. Got it. Just had to make sure. I want to see these are good. Alright, I know it's T45 over at... Ugh. Sanctuary. Which means that I just have extra T60 parts. Which means we'll have to go back to the new Cafe Ola, which we kind of have to do anyway. While we're waiting, I wanted to see if we could improve any of this. We don't have any of the extra capacitors. No snipers. Okay, so nothing? Really? Alright. Hey. Well? Let's give it to McCready. Why do you have that? Okay, where is it? Okay, so that's taken care of. Right, we have this set up as a pistol. Okay, so we need to go back to the new Cafe Ola, drop off some legendary goodies, and that'll lower our... Why is our weight so hot? Oh, right, the power armor pieces, duh. And everything is good here. So the death triangle has been straightened out. We're going to save after all that. Come on. 
Yeah, so Red Rocket really needed some TLC after all, huh? Didn't look like it, but boy, did it. And Abernathy got some uh, tweaking too. So apparently that's what we did today. Back to the new Cafe Ola. And this video is starting to get a bit long all of a sudden. All right, let's get this part done. Okay, back to the new Cafe Ola. Back home. We have a power armor station, so... Okay. We've been storing stuff here anyway, and holy crap, we've got a lot of T60. Do we have everything for a T60? Helmet, left arm, right arm, right leg, torso, we're missing a left leg. Okay. And yeah, that was about 50 pounds worth of crap. Okay, we got a new combat armor piece, so we'll put that on the combat armor. Dummy. So we have everything but a right arm for combat armor. It's part of the other reason I didn't take that Black Ops chest piece. We already got one. But the right leg is good. Okay. I just realized the junky stuff could also work for everyone's other favorite junkie, Hancock. And one's a pistol, the other's a machine gun, and the range should be about the same. Yeah. Yeah, 83. So we can give one to one and one to the other. And they both use the same ammo type, so that's fine. Okay. Rearrange our explosives, such as that is. And we had an extra red X. Put the buff out back. And we need to get that refreshing beverage back. I did not mean to throw that in there. All right, need to give the sunglasses to McCready. Need to sell that pistol. And I need to look at the assault rifle we currently have, which is that. I don't think there's much of anything on there. Hey. Yeah. What is it? That gives him a point in perception. Ugh, McCready. What'd that say? Oh, right, that's the improvement on the home in Nordhagen, which I don't really give two shits about. Is there anything worth a damn here? Long barrel. Long barrel I don't really give a shit about because that's not for that's not right for that build. So New assault rifle back up. Oh, improvements abound at Nordhagen Beach. Not, as I said, not like I really give a right. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, no. No. There might be some cause for celebration there. We need to go back to Nordhagen Beach and take a look. If it's what I think it is, then that means we can send somebody. We can send our other custodian over to the Perception Trainer. And here we are back once again at Lord Hagen Beach. We're having power issues again. But what happened is exactly what I thought happened would happen. It happened. It finally happened. I'm slightly mad. And there you have it.
Okay, looking at this settler here. Come on, wakey wakey. Wakey wakey. Training endurance? No. Training perception? Yes. But we're in good shape, and I want it to continue to be in good shape, so that's why we're doing this. Uh, hello. Oh, a shop person. Yes. At this point, I'll take all the help I can get. Smashing, darling. Just show me where you want me, though I excel at buying and selling clothes. Red Rocket. Oh, my. This is a nice place. is going on here? You hear about that farm run by ghouls? You. What's going on here? Isn't that something? Oh god, did I put the wrong person on the wrong thing? I think I did. Not my best, not my swiftest move there, but that's an easy fix. Yes. Yeah, you. Okay, so that, and yeah, that did fix that, so good. Lord Hagen is gold. We got some home improvements in Nord Hagen Beach, so we'll have to periodically check and see if anybody decides to show up and be unemployed and figure out what to do with them, although I generally do have some ideas. But everything is otherwise in good shape here. So what we're gonna actually what we're gonna do is I sure as hell did. That's better. And that's better too.
Okay. We're gonna pick at random and get it set up so that way we'll know if somebody's here because they built the damn place. A rum hole. Oh, not another bar. Okay, if that's the way it's going to be. We've got clothing. What do we have here? We have clothing. We have a bar. I think that's it. This place is kind of lacking on the uh, amenities department. We do have a hospital, though. I think we're still going to go with a clinic. Because clinics are pretty fucking useful. Yeah, fine. That works. And that's got it set up. Good. So while this place is almost fully clean, it's not quite there yet because she could use some improvements and so could her place. That's fine. So we're good here. I mean, this video is starting to get a bit long, so we're going to have to call it. But. Hmm. Is that for real? Magnus Lair still at eight. All right, and Lacey's good. I think we're gonna call it here because this video is starting to get a bit long. So yeah, sorry, not much exciting happened in today's video. Okay, Odette's a sweetie. So uh, there's just more shenanigans with settlements but it's shit that needed to be done next episode we're actually going to be able to get to do something with our boy McCready we could do a stash for Mr. Hansy uh, we can finally do the Sun Scorcher info packet for Gremlin, although that's not really that important right now. We could uh, get some scrap from Four Leash Fish Packing. That's for Catherine Drake, I believe. That's for Caleb. That's um, Concord. Huh? And we got a potential recruit over in Abernathy Farm. You know what? We're going to do that next. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in and to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Sim Settlement 2 for Fallout 4. I'll see you all next time.